This is the Owl of Wisdom. Like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck. If you don't, it won't be pretty. What's the stupidest question someone ever asked you? Trying to move one of those big, multi-purpose weight machines, and they noticed it's set to its heaviest setting why don't we set it to its lightest setting so it'll be lighter to their credit. They realized about 10 seconds later why that was a dumb question. A. Where can in find a security guard? Me. Security is located in the pavilion over there. They can be reached 24 hours a day. A. What if I need them at night? Customer buying a bottle of water at a coffee shop. Is this real water? I am quite tall in comparison to the average height of where I live. A co-worker. Don't you think you are being a bit inconsiderate? Being so tall I still don't know what they were trying to say. My girlfriend's mom asked me if verbally abusing my girlfriend is okay if it's from her parent. I used to work in retail when I was 16. I was cashiering when a woman came up and gave me a coupon for 20% off the total purchase. When I told her the total she seemed displeased and asked me. Did it take 20% each item or the entire total and I had to desperately explain to her that it's the exact same thing. When someone asked me where I'm from and I said Venezuela their response was what part of Africa that in. Was the IT admin for a small company at the time. The power went out. As happens occasionally. The secretary rang my phone and asked me if the phones were working. She did not say she was testing to see, but asked if they were working over the phone. I was talking to someone and mentioned that I had visited Japan the previous year. Oh, is that where Japanese people come from? I was taken aback for like 3 seconds before I stammered out a yen. This is not a joke. I was in class for the first day of 9th grade and the homeroom teacher introduced herself. My name is Ms. I don't remember her name and I'll be your homeroom teacher for the 9th grade. She then asks the students to introduce themselves. And when the first person introduced himself the teacher genuinely said, Nice to meet you. What grade are you in? I was the one asking the stupid question. When I was like 12 I was at a taco food truck at the county fair and my options were either a shrimp or chicken taco. I meant to ask is there a difference in price because the fair always gets your and instead I only said what's the difference the lady said well one's shrimp and one's chicken. And I felt stupid. Is okay to swim with a dead dog in the pool phone call I took while working at a pool store. And no. No. It is not okay to swimming with a dead dog in the pool. As I help my 94 year old granddad set up his walker next to the car, my 81 year old grandma and her two crutches why I I I I are you parked in the disabled spot? It's for the nice views, asshole. Do you speak Jewish? Working in a bar with an upstairs and downstairs. One of the new waiting staff at the end of the night during cleanup asked me if she should sweep the dirt up or down the stairs. I set up the stairs and left her to it. I was born on an air force base. I remember in school one day we were doing one of those about you things that the teachers always assign on the first day and I put the base I was born on in the spot that asks where you're born. We then share it to the class. 6th grade, and some kid dead serious asked me so if you were born on an air force base were you born on the runway or something the base had a hospital and my dad was active duty when I was born that's why I was born there. I have two roommates. We split the cost of household supplies. Toilet paper. Paper towels. Garbage bags. ETC. I recently went to Target and bought these things divided the cost by 3 and told everyone what I was doing. One of them asked if this meant she gets money back because she had just Venmoed me January's rent this is just one of many insanely stupid questions she has asked. My dad is a pretty logical person and usually picks up on any inconsistencies in movies etc. This one time was pretty funny though. To turn it back on him. 
phone rings me. Answers. Hello dad. Oh hi it's me. Are you at home? Me. Well, this is the home phone. So, yes. Every day. Every single day at work. Answer work phone Dave speaking. Hi can I speak to Dave please? I have been asked many times are you identical when telling someone I, a girl, have a twin brother. Well, number. I have also been asked when his birthday is when discussing my birthday. What did people in apartments do before stairs were invented is kingdom come a place in China same person. I live in the Netherlands. And my mother is from Hong Kong. I had to do my Dutch presentation about the protests happening right now. And my teacher asked a lot of questions that weren't talked about in the presentation itself. But of course I could answer them all. And even correct her a few times. My classmates later asked why I know so much about the subject. And so I told them that my mother is from HK. They then proceeded to ask me why is your mother from Hong Kong. I was so confused, and asked what they meant, and they just repeated the question. A friend asked stupid question to a Scottish man while we were on holiday from Canada. We were watching a boat go through a lock. Him to Scottish guy, which way do the boats go through the lock? Scottish guy, which way is the boat pointed? Him. Good point. I was at the main desk of the library I worked in at the time. I picked up the phone and the caller asked, with no preamble or context, is this the library down the street? Where do you find the calorie info on shampoo? I can't find it. Most of my stupid questions come from my dog grooming customers. The most recent was, do you use different scissors that cut the hair to different lengths? Yes, because that's what your hairdresser does. Right? I also love getting variations on the question of what would happen if the dog was living in the wild and couldn't be brushed it's always asked by people who don't brush their dog, causing it to be a jacked matted mess which I have to shave. Listen, Karen, when was the last time you saw a wild golden doodle? Lost in a new city, I stopped to ask directions. I'm trying to locate the on-ramp to the westbound interstate. I asked. The guy asked me, where are you starting from? What are eggs made of? Not like chemical makeup, but if they had flour in them, cause of the whites. If they had butter in them, cause of the yolk. This kid, 23YO, was a box of bricks. We have twins. So many people asked us if we were trying for twins. Person. I can't move to England. I don't even know what language they speak me. English. England. English person. Are you sure? Classmate. What race are you? Me. Ethnically I'm Polish and Chinese. Classmate. I knew you were mixed. But are you sure you're not Korean? Me. Congrats. And yes. I'm sure. Classmate. Nah man. You're kidding me. You're definitely Korean. I have friends that are Korean. Me. I'm Chinese. Classmate. Can you speak Korean? Me. Goodbye. I was holding an American passport and somebody asked if I was Canadian. Makes sense. A guy I used to work with asked me whether French and Italian were the same language. I appreciate that he was making an attempt to learn. At least. Not me but an exchange student that lived with my family from Spain. What color is the sky in Spain? Having dinner in the dining hall at university. A friend asks me how big is a star? Could one fit in this room? I quietly let her know that one would probably not fit in the room. I am a woman with a twin brother. I can't tell you how many people have asked me if we are identical twins. What's the difference in response to me asking, would you like sea salt or oregano I thought he was joking and responded, well, one sea salt and the other is oregano, 
He got really mad and started going off well I could have told you that luckily his friends weren't douchebags and shut him up by telling him he was being stupid and it wasn't a difficult question. He was just being a dick while I was doing my job. As this moron pointed at Chinese writing on his shoes, he said, Hey, you speak oriental, right? Can you translate this thing on my sneakers? I went to a high school that was majority white, and one day in class a girl asked me, So, do black people, like, have black blood? I didn't even have the energy to respond to the stupidity. When I worked in a restaurant someone asked me where his chips were, while they were in his hand, and he was eating them. How much is your dollar burger? That was difficult not to openly laugh right in their face. Me, writing with my left hand. Person, are you left high and yed? Some of these answers make me kind of sad. Lots of misteachable moments that likely ended in ridicule and a greater reluctance to ask questions. Worked at a living history museum and we always had a smoky fire burning to help create atmosphere one lady asked me, is that a real fire after years of working with the public? It took all I had not to reply, touch it and see. In a panic after doing something dumb, my friend asks what's the number for 911? I'm a recruiter and I sent one of my candidates a form to fill out as part of the hiring process. He emails me back and says there's a line that says sign and print name. Do I need to both sign and print my name on that line? I had to give myself a 15 minute cool off period before I responded to the email so I wouldn't hurt his feelings. Why weren't you at roll call earlier? I was sitting right next to this person at roll call. He even told me how he differentiates me from another guy who has a very similar name. I was at school and someone said are you at school? Me applying for a job boss. Why do you want this job? Me an intellectual. I am hungry. It's 8th grade and a couple of my friends are having a debate amongst each other that I'm not really paying attention to. One of them comes over to me and asks, Hey, just to make sure, what animal does rice come from? I took a moment to digest what I just heard, but within seconds, people at my table look at him and start saying shit like, Yo you're actually retarded or WTF are you talking about it was a funny ass moment that I'm sad I don't have proof of. Some people think I lie about that story, and it sucks that only eyewitnesses can confirm it happened. Our friend there is also a little stupid. He's historically had moments where his lack of both book and street smarts really shined. In other words, I'm not surprised he asked that dumb BS. Thanks for watching the Chronicles of Reddit. Like and subscribe for a marvelous life of adventure.